How's it going everybody? It's Rome here back and it is very, very early in the morning. And the Arc System Works Game Awards show has finally concluded over on Twitch. Now, obviously, I can't make a live reaction because I was watching this, I saw it already. <laughs> so I'm just throwing out my initial thoughts of this whole entire thing. So first of all, the Arc System Works Game Awards show, whatever, happened and then they showed off some tag battle goodness. It's a new trailer. None too much uh, besides some new stages that were shown, which is really awesome. I really, really wanted to see new stages. I was kind of sick and tired of them reusing stages from the other games. I wanted something new, and I'm glad there was. But the best part about this whole entire thing, this whole entire trailer, was that they revealed the release date for this game in Japan. This game will be releasing May 31st over in Japan, and apparently is going to also be releasing June 5th in the West and that is a pretty that's pretty awesome considering the fact that usually when Arc System Works does these kind of things it would take like a good month for the actual Western version to be localized so considering that it's coming out basically a week after the initial Japanese launch that's pretty awesome that means everybody can get on that grind very very early what's also awesome is that they showed off Blake now Blake, given, you know, my second waifu, she actually really does look good. I'm actually really happy in how she came out. And we all predicted that Blake was going to be part of this game. What I didn't predict, though, is that she's DLC. And that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, to say the least. Because that basically means that Yang is also going to be DLC. Team Ruby is actually cut in half. Two are free and two are DLC. And what's sad is that Yang is actually basically the most requested Ruby character to be part of this roster. And so now that they put a price tag on her, they're going to be gaining some cash, to say the least. So, initial thoughts, kind of scummy, but expected. And at the same time, it's just... It just sucks, to be honest. I really wanted all of Team Ruby to be free. I really hate the fact that they cut them in half. Two you gotta pay for, but the other two are free. That's pretty crappy. On the other side, they actually said that this game will hold a 40 character roster, including the DLC characters. 40 characters. That's the initial base roster. Are you serious? That's pretty beefy, dude. That's really huge. Um, and by the end of this trailer, they actually showed off some silhouettes. Obviously, characters are still being announced for this game, so it's not a surprise that they showed off some silhouettes still. What's crazy is that there's one silhouette that actually really catches my attention, and it is the one on the far right. Oh, not the far right, just on the right. Um, and it's a character that looks like he or she is like wearing a scarf, and that initially just leaves two characters in that description. Not Bang, because Bang does not have that body structure at all. It's either Amane or Yuzu. Yeah, that's basically the end of this video. Um, it's very early, so apologies that I sound extremely tired. But tell me down below what you guys think of Team Ruby actually being cut in half, two being free, and the other two you gotta pay for. Anyways, my name is Jerome, and I will see you guys within the next video.